What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the new Yugos AM6. Now this is a full Android TV box powered by the new S922 hexa-core CPU with the Mali-G52. You've got two gigs of DDR4 RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. You have dual band Wi-Fi AC with dual antennas, a gigabit LAN port, Bluetooth version 5, and this is running full Android version 9 Pi. This supports 4K HDR at 60 frames per second, along with HDMI version 2.1 and 5.1 surround sound. And inside the box, you will find user manual. You've got two external high gain Wi-Fi antennas, HDMI cable, a standard infrared remote control powered by two AAA batteries. Now the TV box itself feels very premium. It's made from a complete metal case and it's got a nice black finish with a Yugos logo on the front. Now on the front, we have nothing on the side you got an AV out, auxiliary in, micro SD card slot, USB 3, USB 2, and if we keep going, we've got a gigabit LAN, two more standard USB ports, an HDMI out, an SPDIF optical in port, and your power socket. If we keep going, we've got dual antennas over here for your Wi-Fi, and a physical power button. So quickly screw in the antennas. So this TV box has dual band Wi-Fi along with dual 2x2 MIMO. So we have dual antenna support. So I am expecting the Wi-Fi connection to be amazing. So that brings us back to the front and this is what the bottom of the box looks like. Now we've got plenty of vents at the bottom and also you've got two holes. One says mask ROM and the other one says recovery. So that could be useful for some of you out there. Now to give you a quick idea of the size of this box, I will bring in the Mikul M8S Max. So this is how they fare side by side. You can see the Yugos is slightly bigger all the way around. And in thickness, the Yugos is slightly thicker. So without further ado, I'm gonna get this little beast all hooked up to my TV and capture card, and we are gonna find out exactly how good this new box performs. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took exactly one minute to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen for this box. We have a full Android version 9 desktop setup as you would find on a tablet. And the first good thing to mention is you do have your drop down status menu, which a lot of people, including myself, find very useful. Now let's quickly head over to the main settings and check out the system storage info. Now this box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which you have 11 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick looking about, you will see that this is running Android version nine Pi. And we do have some brand new features that need to be discussed. Now, just like your mobile phones, you'll be able to change your USB mode. How useful is that? Now, if you go into the main Yugos settings, you'll be amazed with more brand new features. And the first one is root. So you can install and uninstall root as required. And if you click on show root state, you will see the status of root in the top right hand corner. So next up, we have file server client options with Samba, NFS and CIFS. We have playback settings, so you can click on automatic frame rate. And here are your options. You can switch it off, switch frame rate only, and switch frame rate and resolution. Hardware monitor, now this is pretty cool. So you can click on any of these hardware monitors and it will show you the status in the top right hand corner. Again, some very useful features. So next up we have wireless assistant, which will help you download the Yugos remote app, which in effect will allow you to control this TV box with your smartphone. Now, if we keep going, you've got system bars, so you can actually disable the status bar and navigation bar. You can keep one enabled and one disabled. I think that is a fantastic feature. So those were the main new features. Now let's check out the system apps. Here are all the apps installed on this box as standard. Now I've only installed Antutu Benchmark, everything else comes standard, so you do get YouTube, file manager and of course the full version of the Google Play Store. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I did download Kodi from the Play Store. So let's go ahead 
and play the first video. So moving on now to the YouTube test and you can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. I remember hearing stories about witches. Until one day we found ourselves noblemen. But that nobility never. Believe it or not, I'm sitting right here. Two weeks in the future. So Netflix was not available in the Play Store, so I had to sideload an older version, and it does work, but unfortunately, maximum resolution is 480p. A snow leopard, the rarest of Himalayan animals. On the plus side, Amazon Prime Video works, but unfortunately, maximum resolution 480p. New villains will plunder. New heroes will... So moving on now to the gaming test. Advantage player one. So for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level three, and here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds. And as you can see, we have the Mali G52, and this box has a root switch in settings so you can decide whether your box is rooted or not. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 71 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And the top speeds we currently achieve in our office is between 67 to 71 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 4198. 
Now I did try to run an Antutu benchmark test with the latest version 7 and unfortunately it wouldn't work and it would keep crashing. So therefore I had to install an older version of Antutu, version 6, and in that test we achieved 97k. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart of 2019 showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the brand new Yugos AM6 has taken position 2 on this chart with a rating of 9 out of 10. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new Yugos AM6. Now this box offers an all-round powerful performance with the new S922X CPU. You have a full tablet desktop version of Android 9 Pi, which is very smooth in operation, along with a super fast Wi-Fi, gigabit LAN, USB 3 and Bluetooth. Gaming is great, you can play more or less any game you like, including emulators like N64, PSP, etc. Now streaming wise, 4K on YouTube, and 480p on Netflix and Prime and after listening to what the people have to say Netflix and Amazon Prime Video 480p resolution is not acceptable for 2019 and will be considered a con from now on. Now the other drawbacks there is no screen mirroring option but you can download AirScreen from the Play Store furthermore there is only one USB 3 port and 16 gigs of storage is little on the low side. Bottom line this box is powerful. It offers great Wi-Fi speeds and lots of new customization options such as root switch, hardware status monitor and lots more. I absolutely love the dual antenna performance and the S922X CPU combined with the Mali G52 offers plenty of power and performance to undertake any task you like from movies, games and even emulators. Yes, there are some drawbacks and the only one that I can see as a deal breaker is the storage size. And if you can get around that, then you have yourself a beast of a TV box. And even with those drawbacks, this box ranks number two on my chart. And I have to say the Yugos team have done a very nice job on the software side to support that new SOC. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.